Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Breakdown, Breakout Texas Shooter Had Shocking Experience in Mental Hospital Before Shooting New details have just emerged about Devin Kelly's past, and the revelation is shocking. It also proves why liberals are flat wrong on the Second Amendment. In the aftermath of Sunday's horrific church shooting, the left immediately launched into a push for draconian gun control legislation. Meanwhile, conservatives renewed calls for mental health reform. Now, thanks to this revelation about the shooter's past, we now know which approach it would have worked. Advertisement According to KPRC Houston, the gunman escaped from a mental hospital before the attacks. The incident report, filed by the El Paso Police Department, states Kelly was picked up at a bus terminal in downtown El Paso before midnight on the evening of June 7, 2012. The report states two officers were dispatched to the terminal to look into a missing person report. When they arrived, the two officers learned Kelly had escaped from Peak Behavioral Health Services, a mental health facility in Santa Teresa, New Mexico, that has a dedicated unit for service members and veterans. The right have been calling for improvements to veterans' care and mental health for years. Had those reforms been allowed, this deranged individual may have gotten the treatment he required. Instead, the mental health system let him escape. Five years later, he shot and killed 26 people inside a small Texas church. Oh, and the person who finally stopped him was an NRA instructor. We need mental health reform and we need our Second Amendment rights. Both protect us from tragedies such as these, and both are opposed by the left. Comment he's sick and share so that everyone sees the truth behind this tragedy. Action is required, just not the kind the left wants. George Clooney stuns liberals, gives jaw-dropping compliment to President Trump. Well this was unexpected. Hollywood is so anti-Trump they don't even know why anymore. Like Pavlov's dog, ring the bell by saying Trump's name and the left comes running all full of phony outrage. Easily programmed the left is, and that is one reason, among many, that they have no power left in America. Advertisement A leaderless party never rises and make no mistake the Democrats are leaderless. At least according to George Clooney. George just admitted the truth about Trump and in the process gave him the ultimate compliment. Clooney doesn't think the Democrats have any leader close to Trump in class and ability and he thinks they will lose the 2020 election to Trump and they can't find one quick. Clooney gave an exclusive interview with the UK Times and stunned liberals across America with what he confessed about Trump. The left is used to Clooney bashing Trump. They take perverse pleasure in watching it. But he disappointed them this time. Maybe the huge flop that is his new movie smacked some sense into him? We don't have a good Democratic candidate yet. Trump, for all his terrible instincts, is very charismatic. A TV star. People didn't vote for him because he accomplished anything. They knew him. And they were, like, he's exciting. He says outlandish stuff. That's fun. He's got a star on Hollywood Boulevard. Clooney went on to say the leaderless Democrats are in a tough spot with none of their potential candidates making an impact. Do the Democrats need a celebrity? Not necessarily, Clooney said before adding, but you need someone who can light up the room. Like Trump does. Look the Democrats are out of good ideas and have no more lies to run on so it will be hard for any candidate to overcome those flaws. Let alone beat someone as accomplished as President Trump. Share if you agree. H.T. Washington Times Day after news of Air Force failure, FBI admits massive holdup in Texas shooter investigation. FBI officials conceded during a press conference on Tuesday that as of yet, 
they've been unable to break into Texas shooter Devin Kelly's cell phone, according to Fox News. It's been 48 hours since Kelly entered First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, Texas and killed 26 people before fleeing the scene and dying from a bullet wound in his vehicle some miles away. Unfortunately at this point in time we are unable to get in that phone, FBI Special Agent Christopher Combs said on Tuesday. With the advance of the technology and the phones and the encryptions, law enforcement, whether it's at the state, local, or the federal level is increasingly not able to get into these phones. Advertisement Combs did not go into details about the type of phone the shooter had used, for fear that someone might try to procure it themselves. He added that nevertheless, the FBI is working very hard to gain entrance into the device and hopes they'll be successful sometime soon. Here's a clip. The disappointing news seems to be piling on the Texas shooting investigation as it was revealed on Monday that the Air Force's failure to submit Kelly's criminal records to the federal government allowed him to purchase weapons, actions he should have been prohibited from following a 2012 domestic violence conviction. After Jeff Flake makes stupid gun control push, Trump Jr. makes him feel like an idiot with one tweet. Jeff Flake and Donald Trump Jr. are in the midst of a Twitter feud, but the winner was obvious from the very first post. After the Texas church shooting on Sunday, Flake promised voters that he was working on new gun control legislation. That bill would prevent anyone convicted of domestic violence from buying a gun. Sounds reasonable enough, except that that legislation already exists. That fact was quickly pointed out by Donald Trump Jr. in a subsequent tweet. Jeff Flake's reply didn't dispute Trump Jr.'s claims. Instead, he just repeated the purpose of the legislation once again. Donald Trump Jr. then used a favorite phrase of his father's to respond, wrong. Add Trump Jr. is right, Flake is wrong. One would think that a legislator would know about the gun laws already on the books, particularly before starting work on the topic but never expect our legislature to know what they're doing. Thankfully, Trump Jr. was there to point out Flake's incompetence to the world. Comment by, Flake. And share if you're happy Flake is leaving Congress forever. We won't have to deal with him for much longer, thank goodness. Don Lemon just spit on graves of those that died in Texas, what he said will ruin his career. On Monday, Don Lemon opened up his show and argued that thoughts and prayers weren't enough on Sunday when 26 people were slaughtered in Sutherland Springs, Texas. Lemon said that faith without works is dead. Watch the disgusting video below. Advertisement Here's what Lemon said. Thoughts and prayers didn't stop a troubled person from buying assault-grade weapons that took the lives of 26 people in an instant. And please don't get me wrong. This is not at all about the Second Amendment or taking guns out of the hands of responsible gun owners. Share this if you think Lemon needs to shut his stupid trap and stop insulting those that are praying for the recovery of those in Sutherland. Let's send Lemon a message by showing him how many prayer warriors there are out there. Get this out everywhere and let's send some positive energy to those in Texas. God bless Texas. Game changer Trump just stunned Gillespie with an unbelievable gift that will end the race for governor. One of President Trump's most underrated qualities is his sense of loyalty. He's been offered buyouts and sweeter deals but always stuck to building the Trump family name. He could have retired years ago and live like a king, but he chose to stand up and fight for the country he loves. Now, he's our commander-in-chief, and he's fighting for his party. It was recently revealed that President Trump recorded a late robocall ahead of Tuesday's election urging Virginia voters to support Republican gubernatorial candidate Ted Gillespie. Politico reports that Trump's appeal to the people of Virginia slammed down candidate. Lt. Gov. Ralph Northam, reminding voters of his failed leadership in the state's economy. 
Advertisement. If you let Ralph Northam be governor, he will be a total disaster for your state. Northam is weak on crime, weak on immigration, and as your lieutenant governor, Northam has driven your economy right into a ditch, Trump said in the call. Republican candidate Ted Gillespie has maintained a hardline stance on crime and immigration during the race, accusing Northam of supporting sanctuary cities that hinder federal officials from enforcing immigration laws. Like me, Ed is tough on crime and on the border. Ed will protect your family from crime, drugs and violence, something Northam will never do, Trump says in the robocall. President Trump's strong advocacy for Gillespie can only help the Republican candidate as Virginians cast their votes. Although neck and neck, recent polling favors Northam by a small margin. The high-stakes race has come into the national spotlight recently, as Democrats continue fighting to lock down the gubernatorial seat. If Gillespie pulls off the victory, it will prevent the Dems from getting their first major electoral win since Trump took office. With your help. Ed Gillespie will help make America great again, a phrase that I like a lot. Vote Ed Gillespie. President Trump is setting the standard for how party members should work together. Everyone has to be willing to step up when it counts, especially the boss. Regardless of who wins the governorship, Americans on both sides will remember President Trump's message of faith and support. It can be hard for people to know who to trust when navigating such crooked tactics. But if party members support each other to find the real truth, they will all be better prepared to protect their constituents in the future. Do you agree with President Trump's decision to get involved? Let us know and share his amazing gift. Sources, TheHill.com